This is Andreas from Class Solutions. This blog post is all about automating the cloud operations. Part one, we will use AWS Cloud Formations. I provided a template on this post that you can download the template. Now, this template is for educational purpose. For the production release, please contact one of us from Cloud Solutions or iSystems. I they specialize in DevOps and automations. Right, so we downloaded that template. You can use any text editor to modify this template. I'm using Visual Studio. This template contains a few resources like VPC. Oh, by the way, let's modify that. If you want, you can modify this based on your requirements if you want to. I'm using standard one. And before we uploading this template to the cloud formations, it's always good practice if we validate that template using this mini JSON validator. Right, it's saying that it is valid JSON, so we can use this template. Perfect. Let's create the new stack using that template. I call the stack as a Cloud VPC01. And I'm trying to upload this guy. Right. Next. Tagging. Yes. Tagging is important. Tagging, tagging, and tagging. You have to. It's always a good practice to tag your environment. So I will tag this guy. Let's say Cloud VPC 01. Call it based on the environment, I guess. Def and the project name Andreas VPC. Perfect. Let's create a stack. Great in progress. Great. Now you can see the events telling you what's been created or you can check the resources currently there is no values has been found They're in the middle of creating stuff so we will wait until the cloud formation creating our stack right now showing there is a, a nine more resources wow that's cool so let's check the events. Perfect, they're creating RELB at the moment. Right. Right, they finished creating our stack. Perfect. So what you can do next is you can create not a similar type of VPC. It's always good to have your base VPC to be used as a baseline. I find it really useful and I always try to use CloudFormation for every single location deployment on AWS. Very simple. So if you want to update your stack, you can update your stack. So you can update the whole stack. Or if you want to delete it, you can delete that stack. And it will automatically delete all the resources. It's within that stack. Oh, just one more note before we finish this video. I don't know if you realize that three availability zones. If you are in a uh, unfortunately a region without three availability zones, you need to change that template. I'm using Oregon because it has three availability zones. Great. Thanks for watching. Have a good one guys.